You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop, and it's time for a Fisher Price Count and Save Bank. This is number 6614, and look at that, 1999 was the original price. Now, this is a revisit video because we already did a video of this bank. Now, at the time, we didn't have the box and the other stuff that was included. So it's nice that when we get it, to update the video so we can learn more about it. Ages 5 and up. It's got a combination lock. Automatically sorts coins. Now the side panels on the box are the same on both sides. And it's kind of nice because this is from 1988. So imagine that the box has survived all this time. That's why I like to show you the box. A fun way to learn the value of saving. Automatically sorts pennies, nickels, dimes, and quarters. Working combination lock keeps valuable safe. Drawers for storage and coin tube markings show how much money you've saved. Let me show you the back because that has a lot of colorful panels on there. Look. The Count and Save Bank introduces kids to the value of money and the importance of savings in a fun way. Drop coins in the top slot, which is up here, and watch them sort automatically. Use the coin wrappers to roll up change or store bills or your most valuable items in the two safe deposit drawers, those are right there, or a hidden compartment on the back. Now that is right there in that panel. A booklet designed to teach kids about currency is also included. So there's kind of a repeat of all the information there. And there's also a spot to put your bills. So let me do this. When I come back, I'll have it all set up and we'll take a closer look at it. All right, so here you go. This is what the bank looks like. And then it came with a sticker sheet. And that sticker sheet let you change the combination on your lock by putting different letters in different spots. So right now, this one is set to a J, okay, and then an E. Now this person put two E's to make it even harder. So unless you know the J-E, you can't get in to the bank, see? So now let me set it. Now it's locked. So you go to the J, it's all the way to the J, and it wants back to the E, the second E on this one. Pretty interesting, huh? And then they also came with, um, like they said, the holders for the coins. So I don't really need those. I'm not going to fill those today. And then this nice instruction booklet, which kind of, you know, showed you about the bank, how it worked. I'll just flip through it in case someone has the bank and they want to read this. They can always pause and enlarge the video. And if you like to read things, I'm not going to read it all to you. It's how to set the combination to use the lock and all the different details and some facts about money. So if you want to read it, pause and enlarge the video and then you get all the way to your little transaction section on your booklet here and you can keep track of your daily balance. That is the booklet. Now a couple things on the bank. I'll just show you all the different features. Now I showed you that, so we'll go to, so right now it's locked. So if I go to J, E, now it's unlocked. Here's there's two little drawers they were telling you about. And then you can put money in this section here. So let's say you have some fake money. You could put your $100,000 bills in there. And this is sorting your change. Now these press in to drop the change out. I'll show you that. But this one also has that separate compartment on the back. Now this opens up, and when you open that up, it'll actually let you see a little area there. Now, of course, it's just for kids, so let me see if I could easily get in there. Okay, I take my trusty tool and just snap it open. So there it is. Now, an interesting little tidbit now. We have another one of these, and I'll bring that one in. And if you look, this version does not have that extra compartment. Now, I'm going to play with this version here. For some reason, this one here doesn't drop coins as nice as this one. Everything else is exactly the same. So this combination now is SB. I'm telling you my bank combinations. So right now I think it's set to open because it's on the... So watch, if I go to S and then the B, my bank is now open. So let me bring some coins in here. I've got some Pirates coins that I'll keep in my... Safety. Those go to another game, by the way. I got a lot of game money in here. And then, let's say I drop a quarter. Now watch. It's going to roll past all the other ones and drop in there. For whatever reason, the other bank isn't working as nice as this one. 
but I could take it apart and I'll show you that in just a second. So you're probably wondering, how does it know to bring the dime all the way here and not have the dime stop in one of these two uh, compartments here, because the dime is the smallest. you think they'd put them in order by size, right? But they don't. They have an order by one cent, five cent, ten cent, twenty-five cents. So what's causing it to do that? I'll show you that. Because there is a chance your change can get stuck. So I'm just going to fill it up a little bit. You see now it's going to keep a total as I keep adding my change. Here, let me zoom in here. Okay. So now I will put a nickel. Penny. Dime, dime, quarter, fits right in, we do another nickel, quarter, penny, and then a penny right after, so penny, penny. Now if I want to dispense my change, because I need to get something like buy an ice cream cone, I can come here and do six cents. Do 16 cents, or I can take out two quarters knowing I've got 50 cents. All right, so that's how that works. So let me get into the compartment so you can see inside the bank and how this is working here. Let's lock that up. All right, so these three pegs here, just like the other one, they have to be careful. You don't want to pop the plastic on that. Put a little bit of pressure, but not a lot. This one was the hardest one. Okay. There. Now we're inside the bank. Let's see if I can get a better shot inside. Can you see inside there? Okay, so this is what's happening. So you're dropping your coin here, and there's little levels here that bypass the dime slides in that level and knows to go to the next level. The penny stays on the outside here and knows to go in the penny. I'm not sure if I could show this to you. So let's see if it works this way. So here I put in a quarter. So it's going to come out all the way over here. Okay, so it knew to do that. Now the dime's going to bypass the penny and go to the dime section. Okay, I need a nickel. So here's a nickel. And then here is a penny. Let me see. Maybe you can see it better from this way. Let me change the angle just a little. See in there? Oops, sorry. All right, let me try it again. So a quarter. And then penny. See how right away the penny just shoots down and fits in? Now these openings are all a different size also. So that, that plays into it. So when the nickel went by, it knew didn't fit into this plastic and flipped into there. So the penny only is the only one that fits into that size. Yeah, I'll do a penny again. See, penny, penny. And then look at the hole, how it's dropping. So there's, uh, there's the quarter. So it turns it and flips it. Let me show you. See how it, it flipped down to fit into that tube? So that's what's going on there. I hope that interests you in some way. So then you just snap this down. Okay. And that is the bank. Did I show you the sides? Let me just take a quick look around. Now between the two banks I didn't see any other differences. Let's just take a close look here and look at the, the words and how they're set up. Maybe there's something you see that I don't see. Hmm. I'm looking at the little rivets and everything. Everything looks exactly the same there. The dials look pretty close. And then the sides of the banks, you see anything different? Of course, the backs we know, one has this opening and this one doesn't. You can see the plastic cutout there. That's what interests me as to, hmm, what was the change? In what year? So there you go. What do you think about the Fisher Price Count and Save Bank now that we've, you know, updated the video and really showed it in a lot more detail? We do appreciate you watching. 
And if you want to see more videos like this, look in the description for a playlist. Or as always, you can search our channel. Later! If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. Thanks for watching.